Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal. Now to our lesson, we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Hero's Modern School Academy. My name is Mr. Lamb. I will be walking you through fourth grade mathematics week number three, day number one, part of the curriculum. And today we are going to be talking about factors. Okay, so day number one is going to be talking about factors. The content is going to be on page number 33 of your workbook. If you have your workbook over there, please go ahead and turn to page number 33. If not, you're welcome just to watch on the board with me. The content's going to be there in front of you. We're going to be talking about factors. What are factors? Factors. A factor is a number that divides another number evenly. What does that mean? It means it's going to divide a number to equal parts without leaving a remainder. That's what a factor is. And you are going to come across mathematical problems asking you to calculate factors. What's the factor of this number? In other words, what are the numbers that will divide this particular number into even parts? Evenly. All right. So let's look at a couple of examples to see that. This is how to do that. We're going to be talking about factors. This is week number three and day one of the curriculum. Talking about factors. Okay. All right. So what are factors? Factors are going to be numbers that divide another number evenly okay so that's without a remainder so they can ask you a question like what are the factors of number 12 what are the factors of 12 all right so that's a question over there for you so what are the factors of number 12 well, you are going to ask yourself from the multiplication table, if you can remember that, what numbers, when I divide it by 12, or I divide 12 by it, will become a whole number. Well, multiplication table is going to be on page number 33 of your workbook. And we talked about it in third grade as well. So you should be able to remember your multiplication table right now. So you're going to see in this column over here, which is the two column, well, which column can I find the number 12 in it? So that's going to be a good way to know what your factors are. Well, I can find the number 12 in one column, column number one, which is going to be one times two, one times three, one times four, up until one times 12, which is going to give me 12. So one is going to be a factor of, tw of 12, just like that. Well, let's see which other column can I find number 12? Well, I can find number 12 in column number two. All right, because two multiplied by six is going to give me 12. So it means two is a factor of 12 as well. What about column three? I can find number 12 in column three. So three is going to be a factor of number 12. What about number four? Oh, column number four, I can find my 12 over there as well. So four times three is going to give me 12. So four is a factor of 12. What about five? Um, I cannot find 12 in column five. What about six? Well, I can find 12 in column six over there because six multiplied by two is going to give me 12. So what about seven? No. What about eight? No. What about 12 itself? I can find number 12 and column 12. So all these numbers that are colored and shared for you, they are just a quick way that you can know what your factors are. So you're going to tell yourself, what are the factors of 12? Well, I can see in column number one that 12 is over there. So one is going to be a factor of 12. What about two? Two is going to be a factor of 12. Three is going to be a factor of 12. Four and six and 12 itself. Well, how do we prove this? You're going to say, what is 12 divided by 1? Well, 12 divided by 1 is going to be equivalent to 12. So that's a whole number. 
Okay, so you have 12 apples over there. You want to break it into one part. Well, that's going to be 12, right? And that's a whole number. It divides, so 1 divides 12 evenly. Okay, 12 divided by 1 is going to be equal to 12, right? Uh, uh, 12 divided by 1. You want to have 12 parts from 12 apples. If you have 12 apples, you want to share with 12 children over there. You're going to have 12 different parts, and that's a whole number. All right, what about number 2? So 12 divided by 2 will be equal to 6. Well, the answer over here is a whole number as well. So it means 2 is going to be a factor of 12. 2 is going to be a number that can divide 12 evenly, okay, evenly, without leaving a remainder. All right, what about 3? 12 divided by 3 will be equal to 4. Well, it means 3 is going to be a factor of 12 as well. All right, that's the answer is a whole number. All right, what about 4? 12 divided by 4 equals 3. Well, that's another whole number for you. So it means that 4 is going to be a factor of 12 as well. What about 6? 12 divided by 6 equals 2. Well, the answer is a whole number. That's 2. So it means 6 is a factor of 12. What about 12 itself? 12 divided by 12 equals 1. And that's that answer is a whole number. So it means that 12 is a factor of 12. <laughs> okay, so don't forget, use your multiplication table, which you should have committed to memory right now. If you haven't committed to memory, please go ahead and, you know, do your multiplication table again. 1 times 1 is 1, 1 times 2 is 2, 1 times 3 is 3, 1 times 4 is 4. And do, do column number 1, do column number 2, 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 4 is 8. Do all that, committing to memory, because you're going to be using the multiplication table a lot. Okay, so that's how to calculate factors. You know factors, begin at the multiplication table, asking yourself the question, what numbers will divide another number evenly? Okay, what number that the numbers that divide another evenly? Those are going to be the factors of that number. In our example here, number 12 has all these factors to it. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12 from the multiplication table. All right, did you get something from it? I trust you did. So please go ahead and turn to page number 33 and 34. You are going to see additional um, exercises over there. We talked about the concept of common factors as well. So, for example, if you want to have uh, number six, okay, so number six, let's quickly compare that. Number six, what are the factors of number six? Well, the factors of number six are going to be like one, like two, like three, and like six itself. So they can ask you, what is the highest common factor of 12 and 6? So what does that mean? So look at all these factors here. So these are the factors of number 12, right? And these are the factors of number 6. All right. So which factors are common to both numbers? Well, one is common. There's one here. There's one here. Two is common. There's two here. There's two here. Three is common. There's three here. There's three here. Six is common. There is six here. And there is six over there. Now, which of these factors is the highest? Well, the highest is going to be this one over here, right? So this is the highest. So six is going to be the HCF of numbers 12 and 6, which is highest common factor. So the highest common factor of numbers 12 and 6 is going to be 6. So that's how you can do that. They can ask you that question. Find me the HCF, highest common factor of two numbers. All right. All right, good work. So let's go ahead and turn to page number 34, page number 33 as well for additional exercises and homeworks. And thank you for joining me today. Remember, God cares about you and so do we. And until next time, bye-bye. Your hero's body
And as you study with heroes born, I will be your friend. So don't you?